Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today is going to be a get ready with me. I am throwing it back with the Gwen Stefani palette. Um, I'm doing Shop My Stash and I mentioned I pulled this palette and the Natasha Denona palette and most people wanted to see a look with the Gwen Stefani palette. I'm also using all of the products in my Shop My Stash so this was a fun video. It ended up being a really fun eye look so I hope you guys enjoy. It. Let's get started. Okay the first thing we're going to start out with is this Mika eye primer. Um, I got this in a boxy charm so long ago. Okay, we're gonna go in with the color blonde and just set that primer base. I feel so unprepared, like normal. I'm getting ready for work. Yes, I'm about to wear this makeup look to work. Oh well. The next color I'm gonna get is the color Stark which is right smack dab in the middle of the palette. And I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush and just placing it as my transition color. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the color Blackout on this Delium Tools 781 brush, which I highly recommend. I just barely tap, tapped the tip of my brush in. And I'm first going to kind of just place it right there and then start blending a little bit. Not too much. We'll go back in and blend here in just a second. Dip into the color Danger, which is this really dark blue, and I'm gonna start patting that in the second third of my lid, but I'm also blending it outwards towards the black. So I kinda want it to be like a gradient from black to blue. Now I'm gonna go back in with this blending brush and I'm gonna pick up Stark again, but I'm gonna take like two little dips in Anaheim and start blending that shadow out and just make it to where it's not so harsh up in the crease. That's good. We're gonna go in with a flat brush and go into 1987. I was six years old in 1987. My sister was born in 86. My other sister was born in 90. So, okay. See how I'm just patting it really in the inner corner, but then I'm fading it out into that blue. And I'm making sure they're even. Because nine times out of ten, they're not. Okay, I'm gonna go back into 1987 one more time, but this time I'm going to squirt it with my Mario Badescu rose water. And I'm going to pack that in the inner corner again, but I'm just patting it. I'm not really like swiping it, you know? So with this little Delium Tools brush, I'm gonna barely touch black out, and I'm going to kind of put it on the outer edge of my lower lash line right here. I know it looks crazy, but once I put concealer and stuff on, it will look better. I pull raw And then I'm going to take 1987, that yellow gold, and put it on the rest of my lower lash line. I'm going to barely do a tiny wing. I feel like the only time I can do a wing is whenever I have tape on. I feel like if you were wearing this like out to the club or something, I would probably put on false lashes, but I'm going to be working in an office all day, so I don't think I'm going to be wearing false lashes. Plus, some people don't wear false lashes, so it's like I'll watch a makeup tutorial and then they put lashes on and it's like that's just not my everyday life, you know? Takes me like 30 minutes to apply lashes to. I'm gonna use the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. And only thing I don't like about this is the applicator. I don't know, it feels weird doing it like this. It does what it says, but I definitely would not buy the full size of this because I think it's really expensive. You know what it reminds me of is the 
Maybelline Baby Skin. You know, it's in that cute little turquoise tube. Get it at the drugstore. It's really cheap. This, I feel like this is like the same formula minus the little gold specks. But once it's on your face, you can't see these little gold specks. So I don't know. I would just get the baby skin, honestly. If you're looking for like one of these blurring type silicone filling primers. So, so I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'm in the color 102. I need to use this up. Ugh, I'm so close to being done with it. Where's my beauty blender? Okay, so I'm just going to take this on a beauty blender and dot it all over my face. I have a mirror right over here. That's why I keep looking. It looks like I'm looking off into nothing, but I do have a mirror. And I don't have um, window treatments up in my house yet or in my makeup room. And so I can see the backyard and we just put bird feed out there and all these little birds are going and enjoying the bird feed but bandits barking at every single one of the birds so if you hear him in the background they are my dogs are inside dogs um like they literally usually just go outside for to go to the bathroom you know but <laughs> we got them a little doggy door and which, by the way, I'm going to do a house tour as soon as we get everything moved in. I mean, everything's moved in, but, you know, I don't know where everything's going yet. And it's hard because we moved, our house now is double the size of our old house. So, I didn't have very much furniture to fill it up. So, I'm not going to wait until I completely fill it to do a house tour because... That'll be years from now, but I do want to wait till it's like completely set up. But anyways, all that to say, we got them a dog door. So now they go outside like whenever they want and I don't know, they've been enjoying it, but Bandit, Bandit is having a fit over those birds and we have so many baby rabbits. We have so many rabbits and like feral cats because it's kind of, it's in city limits, but it's kind of like a country street. So I guess that's why. I don't know. There's so many cats. And I I don't know if it was a mistake or a blessing or what. But I've been feeding them because I feel so bad. Because I feel like they're starving. So I think that's why, that's why they keep coming around. I just hope one of them doesn't sneak in the doggy door. Okay, so next I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. You do not need much of this. And um, put that right there where I have darkness. And then I am going to put it on my chin and kind of down the center. And then I'm just going to pounce it out with this Beauty Blender. One thing I love, I love the application with Beauty Blenders, but I also love that you can use it like... To, to blend out your concealer you can use it to blend out like today we're going to use a cream cream blush we're going to use a cream highlighter I don't know in the winter time I use a lot of cream products because my skin is a little bit more dry than normal I said winter time it is not winter I mean like when the air starts getting crisp and kind of fall winter season. This is the Hourglass Strobe Powder in Incandescent Strobe Light. And I've been using this to set my under eyes. I know it sounds scary, but it's been working and it really brightens up your under eyes. And these powders are just so silky that it works. Okay, I'm actually going to take that powder and kind of set my chin, my nose, and the center of my forehead here. Like I said, we are gonna go in with a cream blush. This is the YSL Kiss and Blush in number three. And I'm going to just place it right, right there. You can use these as lip products too, which is really cool. But I'm just gonna place it there and then we're gonna blend it out with the Trusty Beauty Blender. Oh, these are so beautiful. Did you see how easy 
that blends out it's like flawless I'm gonna go in with the um, cover effects celestial powder uh, what is this called custom cover drops on my finger and I'm gonna place it right there and I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna go in and blend it with the beauty blender Ooh, that looks scary but these blend out so easily as well these are a product that you can mix in you know with your foundation if you want kind of a dewy look all over this is a good one to mix in with that um, with that L'Oreal foundation but look at that that is so beautiful it is such a lit from within and a lot of times I will put a powder over it but you don't have to I mean if you're just going for that lit with lit from within glow that does it without even adding a powder so I think I'm just gonna leave it like that today now we're gonna go in with bronzer this is the hourglass bronzer in luminous bronze light and I'm just taking it I'm actually using a blush brush and I'm just popping it right there on my cheeks I'm kind of going a little bit heavier the bronzer today because oh it looks really heavy in the camera because I have been sick and so I need some color to my face I always take it like down my neck too I love this it cosmetics blush rush it is amazing I feel like the last step for my eyes is going to be taking 1987 again and just putting it on the lower half of my lower lash line on the half on the inner half of my lower lash line yes I'm kind of touching up that top part too oh that's so pretty see how something like that can make such a difference okay so for what's in my shop my stash oh it's this Milani plum rose lipstick for lips this is the perfect transition into fall so here is the finished look you guys I hope you enjoyed it was fun getting ready with you this morning and I will talk to you soon